Well, this deck I actually found out looking for deck ideas for this game, you know, so... The name of the deck here is the username of the person I took it from, because he actually does show the recipe for this deck. Though admittedly I didn't use all the fusion monsters he'd slapped in there, but honestly, none of them really matter considering he was using Master of Oz exclusively for going for a Cyberstein style OTK. There are other variants of this deck, so I'm not going to say he invented it, because I'm not sure if he did or didn't, but I'm going to assume, you know, he got looking online, you know, through uh, the tips section on he has a Wikipedia stuff, because that stuff is rather extensive on, you know, how you can do crazy things with certain cards. So yeah, we got another version of the Cyberstein OT OTK coming up that I definitely picked up from the fan site. Though I wanted to go second, damn it. Ugh. Well, if nothing else, we can set up with a Mystic Tomato. And we do have some giant Trinades, so... We can get at least part of the way to the OTK, but I need a copy of Megamorph in my hand as well, which we didn't get. Which is kind of annoying, because we got a decent setup, but I'm hoping on a good draw here. Yes, please. I wish to summon Cyberstein, obviously. Well, let's go. We need to draw a card. And we got another freaking enemy controller. Well, that just blows. Well, we can use Smashing Ground, I suppose. Well, I guess I technically could have used this monster for a turn, too, but it's fine. Eh, a bit late there. I still get to summon the monster. You just took away my biggest weakness. Though I have no idea what card he's got down there. But I suppose it doesn't matter, because, you know, if he can't blow up this one, I can still win. Though, admittedly, you know, the strategy here is to go for one massive hit using, like, Megamorph equipped on this thing are called the Wild and enemy control units. And it looks like he didn't draw crap. Okay. Well, obviously we're just going to blow those back. I mean, we did get the win here, but it's not the way I wanted it. So I'm not entirely happy with this result. So we may have to try it again. Ugh. Yep, a couple different matches with this one, maybe. Just to get all the stuff we need. Because I need a much better hand than that. I mean, that was a good hand, don't get me wrong. I mean, that, that was a winning hand right from the get-go, basically. Because the opponent couldn't really do much with their back row. So they couldn't interrupt my strategy. But I would have preferred being able to do it, you know, in basically one hit. Well, it's time for take two, and I guess we'll try Tails this time. Uh, let's see. I want to go second. Because I want to let the opponent, you know, get a chance to set up, you know, but... We'll see how it goes. Okay, we got Cyberstein in the hand. That's good. We can use that. Okay. That is crappy. I mean, I don't know what all their back row stuff is. And I can't remove both of them, unfortunately. So I gotta hope I get lucky and get something dangerous. Which we did. Good. Um, summon. Obviously. Activate the effect of a monster? Yeah, activate the effect of this monster. Boom. And I want to summon out the Master of Oz, obviously. Equip it with Megamorph. Because that will give it 8400 attack strength, so, you know. It can now swing for game easily. Oh, sweet. I can get rid of that card and re-equip Megamorph, so it's fine. Well... There we go. Activate Megamorph again. And we can go for, you know, our uh, intended kill method. Hitting him really, really hard. <laughs> Just boom for everything. <laughs> yep, that's how you really do with the Master of Oz for an OTK. Just bam. And it's all over. Until next time, then. See ya.